Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to reconcile your bank account on Cashflow. Um, many, many clients of ours uh, link their bank accounts from their accounting software to the bank and so bank reconciliations tend not to be as important as they used to. Um, however, there are some clients out there that still want to post things manually onto uh, their accounting software, um, which will mean that there are some transactions that don't clear until after a certain date. And so we just want to double check that everything on cash flow has definitely cleared the bank and anything that hasn't is justified as being on cash flow. It's going to clear at a, a later date. So to do this, what we do is we click on the bank menu item at the left hand side. We then click on reconcile. If you've got more than one account, for example, there'll just be a reconcile button for each one, but we only have one reckon, uh, one bank account on this one. So we're just gonna click on reconcile. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask for some information about what date you want to reconcile up to, what the end bank account balance is on the real bank statement. Um, so I'm just gonna drop in a date here just to allow this data set to uh, bring in the right transactions. In this example, we started off with a nil balance. And for example, if we had a bank statement, our bank statement should say negative uh, £6,567.05. So if I click start, you should then be presented with all the transactions that go right up to that date. Uh, and what we need to do is uh, either look down our bank statement and manually say which ones have definitely cleared, which ones haven't. Um, but in this instance, I know that all the transactions on cash flow have definitely come out of the bank statement. Nothing's missing. So I'm just going to save myself a little bit of time and click on this square here, which will put a tick in every single box. And then I just need to review the, the top numbers, at, uh, the top numbers up here. What this is saying is that the running balance on cash flow is this amount. And the total value of ticked items, the ones that I've just ticked right now, is this amount. And the target balance is this amount, which means there's nothing left to clear. All that's left to do now is press save and reconcile. If, for example, one of these transactions hadn't cleared the bank, then we simply just say that hasn't cleared and click reconcile at that point. But I know this is cleared. And in order to get my bank rec to work, I need to tick that so everything is zeroed out and click Save and Reconcile. One of the benefits of this Save and Reconcile button means that your bank account is then locked um, and it just stops anyone sort of going back in there, accidentally dating anything to an earlier date that's gonna affect the, the account on cash flow, gonna throw something out. Um, and it's just a useful tool to sort of, uh, you know, provide a little bit of security onto cash flow to make sure that nothing's sort of going wrong. You've done the hard work, Let's protect the data that's already in there and let's move forward to the next month. So I hope that's helped. Um, please give us a shout if you need any uh, if you need any assistance with this. Thanks for watching.